Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Picks video. In this one, we're talking about the NBA for Wednesday, March 20th. In the video, we have five picks for you guys to consider. So stay tuned throughout the video to hear all five of the picks. I'm just one capper in Dynamo. We have five plus other cappers giving out picks in the private Discord. If you guys want to join up, you can see John John, a private Discord member, hitting some slips here and hitting on underdog as well which we've been playing on more ttg hitting a couple here i also run and post projections every morning from prize picks projecting the best value in players to hit went three for three on the projections on a monday for tuesday right now two for two and then if Dolan gets under an assist they're in the third period right now we would have another three for three back to back on the projections so definitely check it out it's less than a dollar per day to get access to those five plus cappers and the projections get over in the private discord to see how people are hitting those massive slips we have five plus cappers over there i'm just one of them a lot of sharp people giving out their picks over in that private discord so check it out for less than a dollar per day in this video we're going to start out by going to Taylor Hendricks here. There's so many injuries in these games tomorrow for the Jazz and Raptors, especially that I'm targeting Hendricks here early. We're going to go to the blocks plus steals. Definitely a weird one on the stocks here. One and a half, but Hendricks has been hitting this a lot and even in limited minutes. So we could come over here to Outlier. It's one of my favorite tools that I use every single day for player props. Definitely check it out. They have a free trial if you use that link down below for seven days. We can see Hendricks, all the injuries they have. Clarkson out, Markin and out. John Collins, they said he got a concussion in the last game, so I would imagine that he would be out as well. He is a game time decision here, but I think Hendricks is going to be in line for some big minutes. We could see that recently Hendricks on the minutes, he's played 27 in the last game. And 33 in the game before that. And then he had a stretch of five games in a row here where he played 25 or more minutes. I think he's going to be in line for between 20 and 30 minutes in this game. And then we could see in his last 10 games, he's gone over one and a half stocks in seven of 10 of them. This game with two blocks, this game with three blocks, this game with a block and a steal. So he can do it multiple ways. This one with two steals and... I think he's going to play a ton of minutes as well. So another thing you can do on Outlier is look at 2023 and just look at games where he's played at least 25 minutes. And then we could see he's hit this in six of nine of those games. And I think he's going to be in line for at least 25 in this one. So going to the stocks for Hendricks, who should be in line for a ton of minutes in this one. And then the other guy we were talking about or other team was Toronto. We're going to go to Ogbaji here over on his points, not a line that he's hit a ton this year, but the Raptors don't have anyone basically for the upcoming game here against the Kings should be fast paced. Hopefully the Raptors can keep it close. The spread is at nine and a half. Honestly, I thought it might've been even higher. We got a 14 and a half spread over here, but I thought it would be higher, but I guess it doesn't even matter if they keep it close because they're going to have so few players that Agbaji is going to have to play probably at least 30 minutes, could be mid-30s in minutes here. And we could come look at Agbaji. He's only hit this 16% of the time this year, but obviously, you know, the minutes have been all over the place for him. In these last two games, he played 33 minutes and 31 minutes. So I'm liking him to play at least 30 minutes again. And we could see now he was playing the minutes because Scotty Barnes, R.J. Barrett, Boucher have been out. But now also uh, Emmanuel Quickly is out and Poto's been out as well. But Quickly hadn't been out before. He's now ruled out. So he's probably going to be in line for even more minutes against the Kings. Fast-paced game. Should be able to get up and down, get some open threes, get some layups. I'm liking Agbaji here just because the minutes increase and the matchup here. Just need 10 points. Should be playing mid-30s in minutes and from a shooting guard position when they need him to score the ball. So going to Agbaji there with all those injuries. And for the third pick, we're going to come over to Odd Jam, which is another tool with a free 7-day trial plus 25% off if you guys want to continue after the trial. But a great tool to find the top value. Sabonis so here over 2.5 turnovers. They have this one... Basically how Odds Jam works is they compare 
other sports books, lines to sites like Prize Picks and Underdog. And for Sabonis here, all these sites have it at minus 140 or better to hit over two and a half turnovers. Minus 140 DraftKings. These other three sites have it at minus 145. So really liking this one to hit over. And for Sabonis, we're going to go ahead and lock that one in. And for Sabonis, you could see on the season from Outlier, if we look at the turnovers, two and a half or more, over two and a half, he's hit this 63% of the time this year. So a line that he's been hitting a lot, and obviously it's not a good thing to have turnovers, but 63% of the games this year, he's had at least three. So four so bonus going to be going to the over of two and a half turnovers. Odds Jam, definitely a tool to check out to find those top value picks that I recommend. So check them out. They have that free trial plus 25% off when you use that link down below. Now let's go to the next pick here. And for the next one, we have Halliburton. For Halliburton, we're going to be going under on his points of 19 and a half. For Halliburton, obviously... He's been averaging about 20 on the season. It's probably below 20 now. But Detroit, tough matchup. Halliburton has been struggling with his shot and getting to the rim. He just hasn't looked good scoring the ball. And Detroit, actually, their defense has definitely picked it up as of late. If we look at Detroit, their last set of games here, besides against the Celtics, they gave up 119 Before that, they gave up 104, then 108, only 104, and 97. So in the four games before that, the most they gave up was a 108. So the defense definitely has looked better. There was that outlier against the Pacers, obviously. But I do think that the Pistons' defense has improved. And Halliburton just really struggling to score the ball. I was on him on the assist last time. He's still getting the assist, but getting to the rim... And shooting has been a massive struggle for Halliburton. If we look at Halliburton under 19 and a half, it's right about 50%. But in the last 10 games, you can see eight of his last 10, he went under this amount. In his last four games, 18 is the highest he's hit. And he's just definitely been struggling, especially if the Pacers are well ahead in this game. I do expect Halliburton to not play these massive minutes that we've seen in the last two games. He's played back down to around 30 minutes. So for Halliburton, going to go into the under on that 19 and a half line for all those reasons. And then for the next pick, we're going to be going to Chet Holmgren. And to Chet, we're going to go over on the points against Utah. Going to be a good matchup here for Chet and the Oklahoma City Thunder should be a high-scoring one. Hopefully they can keep it somewhat close. But Chet, when he plays the minutes, he hits this one a lot. And on the season, he's been hitting this line a lot as well. So going to be going to Chet in this one. I do like him at this lower line than we've seen him as of late and really all season since the beginning of the year. He hasn't really been... This low on the line, so on the straight points, 14 and a half. This is a line he's hit 67% of the time or two-thirds of the time. And we can even see his last 10, he's hit it in 60, last 20, 65%. So it's not like he's not hitting it really as of late. Uh, You know, the thing you worry about is the blowout. You can see some of these down lines of minutes are blowouts. He only played 21 minutes here, 23 there. 22, 23. So in some blowouts, he will play lower 20s in minutes. But even in some of these games where he's played 25 or less minutes, we could see that he still hit this in 6 of 11 games. So even in limited minutes, he still can get there. But we really are hoping that he will be playing his full allotment of minutes where he's hit this two-thirds of the time, obviously Utah gives up a ton of points, 27th in the league, giving up 100, almost 121 points per game. So for these reasons, we're thinking Chet, especially if he's going to play around his average of 30 minutes in this game, we're definitely liking him in this one. So we're going to be going to Chet Holmgren here over the points of 14 and a half. So if you guys want to see how people are getting all these big hits, definitely check out the private Discord over here, we have five plus cappers giving out picks in the Discord 
for less than a dollar per day plus our projections that looks like they're going to hit two days in a row click the link in the pinned comment or top of the description to check out the private discord also subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in another one